What's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Singapore! I feel like I haven't done a typical day-to-day -day vlog in so long and I really wanted to wait until we got to this magical place. Currently we are strolling through gardens by the bay. We're only after arriving, we're kind of getting our bearings. It just feels insane to be here. It's so hot, so hot. I think we're up at 31 degrees today but because of the humidity it feels just really heavy and uh, yeah, I'm struggling. My little Irish self is struggling in this weather but we're making our way further into the gardens there's a couple of places we want to definitely make sure we get to today but these structures are incredible so all of this is obviously real yes. and then up here these are man-made structures but they just blend in so well it's like avatar so we're gonna figure out how we can get ourselves up onto this bridge up here I presume we're gonna have to buy tickets Danny somewhere we've also got an amazing view of the Marina Bay Sands in the background here oh my god I can't believe we're actually here <laughs> We went ahead and we got the attraction ticket bundle which includes all the different attractions here because we're only here once. We said, why not? Let's just do it. We have the whole day to explore before we meet mum and dad later. We're just really highly concerned that when we go inside these domes, it's gonna, it's be, gonna like be a, a glass house. house or a greenhouse <laughs> and we're gonna die. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. It's so cool. <laughs> I can't believe it's real because before we go on holidays we watch so many videos and we get so into the places we're going and then when we're here it's just ah. Oh. So they have all these little boxes where you can like smell the flower obviously without damaging it. This one is spicy floral. <laughs> What's that one? Delicate floral. <laughs> we're those tourists that feel a bit of a breeze. We will stop and air ourselves out for five minutes before continuing on. <laughs> they had to just advertise the air conditioner. <laughs> 90, quid. 90 quid. <laughs> it's just bad when you've got chub under your arms. Like I have chub under my arms. I know, what do people call chub rub in other countries? Chafing? Rash? I don't know. Anyway you say it, it's disgusting. <laughs> The little shuttle brought us right over to the... Ooh, we shouldn't have walked. Oh no, it's not us, it's okay. That confused me, oh god. I thought we were in trouble with the man, but we weren't. And we've hit upon one of the most Instagrammable spots in the whole of Singapore. Sinead might be in trouble. Are you over a metre, Sinead? <laughs> Depends on the day, really. You can't ride the 40 ride, unfortunately. Hey, this is what our wedding needs to be like. Look at all the married. flowers. <laughs> Definitely getting married. What do you mean if? We should have Yeah. Just Sinead. <gasps> to interrupt the current vlogging schedule. <laughs> Get a free ice cream for that picture there. Do you actually? Yeah. Stop. Where? How? Where did you see that? <gasps> okay. Take a photo here with a loved one to receive a complimentary ice cream at Tiffany and Co. It's amazing how Sinead made a genuine reaction look fake there. <laughs> However you thought that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, get down there, will you? Get down with my loved one. <laughs> so we got our shuttle back to the flower dome and it's really striking how similar it is to the Sky Garden in London. I'm kind of wondering do they get their inspiration either from each other or which one came first. But the flower dome here is, I would say, a good 10 times bigger, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good 10 times bigger. It's a good 10 times bigger here, though. <laughs> People <laughs> think Danny is funny, but actually, you wouldn't be funny if, if I didn't stupid. give you the jokes. <laughs> So two fun things that I've learned about Singapore since we arrived here. Number one, chewing gum is banned here. So do not expect to have gum and for that to be okay here. No, no. Number two, it's built on the concept of a city in a garden. So everywhere there's concrete, you can be guaranteed that there's a tree nearby. This is just two main roads, but in between there's a whole ton of trees. Anywhere where they can put green, they do. I just think it's the most amazing combination of nature and city and trying to offset the carbon footprint. Really good idea and we're actually standing right underneath the Marina Bay Sands, which is super cool. So you can see this from anywhere in Singapore. And it's connected to a shopping center, which has boats in the middle of it. Okay. Can we just take a moment to uh, acknowledge the fact that we're suddenly in Venice? <laughs> So we're back at the hotel. We just had a really quick bite to eat and I'm gonna grab the swimming togs and show you the absolutely amazing views of Singapore. It's 
coming up to 8 p.m. so it is nighttime views we arrived last night just had a quick look at the pool but we didn't actually get in yet and i know danny you're very excited to get in aren't you <sighs> i'm so excited <laughs> Honestly, I can't even do it justice. It's just incredible and it's so warm. It's currently 27 degrees and we're almost at 9 p.m. He's just chilling out over there. You can see one of the evening light shows that they do just by us right here. So we've got a great view of that without having to go anywhere, which has been insane. Pass you a fish. <laughs> Pass you a fish. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And this is today's view. Marina Bay Sands Hotel right there. Are you the type of person who goes on holiday or on vacation and wants to sit by the pool, read a book, drink loads, eat loads and do that whole vibe? Or are you somebody who likes to do a ton during the day, walk miles, tire yourself out and fall into bed at the end of the day but feel like you've seen loads of stuff during the day? I'm definitely person two. So I'm really happy we're about to head out now. And we're about to head up to the viewing deck on the Marina Bay Sands. It's really unfortunate that you can only go up there to the infinity pool if you're actually staying there, which we're not. <laughs> but there is a really cool observation deck. You can buy tickets and then you can go up there for the whole entire day. And there's also a drink included, which I'm very excited about. Of course you find me running for anything related to bread because I'm 99% carbs. Oh my God. It's stuff that I've never seen before, even though I love to make bread. I love to make pastry. These are all so unique, stuff that you'd never ever there see there. at home. There you are. What? Chocolate donuts. <laughs> They're making bow buns. Stop. <gasps> yes. I love bow buns. Chicken bow. Look at the roller. I love it. Oh, and they steam them. Yeah, they steam them in the bamboo steamers. Wow. Look. Bow buns are absolutely insanely good. If you've never had one, I would highly recommend it. They're like one of my favorite Asian foods. It took us ages to find the Sky Park Observation Deck, but we're actually up here now and the views are absolutely gorgeous. These are the two domes at Gardens by the Bay where we were yesterday. And in the background, all those little dots are actually ships on the water, which is so pretty. We've got the Singapore flyer here on the left, which we didn't do. And Danny is going to get us our frozen Singapore slings. The drink itself is absolutely lovely, but quite disappointed that it came in a plastic cup with a plastic straw. What do we do? Do we just do we give it back? They're handed to us like this. You can't avoid it, or else you don't get your drink. I know that infinity pool over there. Over there is it? Two pools there, yeah. So we're at the same level as the infinity pool. We've got the same oh, view. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So as I was saying earlier, what? that's the infinity oh, pool yeah. that you have to pay to stay in the hotel so that you can access it. But we basically have the same view yeah. here. All right, everybody, that's the end of my Singapore vlog. I'm so sad to be leaving this absolutely incredible place. I've literally just jumped out of the shower. We're packing up our bags, ready to head to the airport, to Changi Airport to fly to Sydney. So it is definitely not the end of the adventure, but I am really, really sad to say goodbye to Singapore. But I will chat to you in Sydney. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of my travel videos. Bye.